Hello again guys, and welcome back to Seed Serendipity 23. Today is all about loot, and how to get more of it. And it's also partly a subscriber request from Hugh D. Toucan. He asked me if I could find him a Fortune 3 book seed. And he said, please, with a smiley face. And uh, I do have a seed just for him, but we're going to leave that for last. So we're going to start off, there's actually four seeds we're going to be covering today. Here's the first seed. I'll stop talking now. Actually, I won't. I will keep talking, but we will start loading. Um, and this one actually has pink sheep. Um, but ooh, noisy, noisy guys. We're going to actually go to minus 289 and 276. So I will meet you there. And here we are at the first dungeon of the first seed. So we come down here, we have a zombie spawner, and we have two chests. One chest with, yeah, you know, the regular stuff, and one chest which has fire aspect one and looting three. That's the first one. Let's move on to the second seed. And here we go with seed serendipity 23b. Here's the seed. And this time we're going to minus 690 and 339. So I I'll meet you there. And here we are with the second seed and the second dungeon. And we have knockback two and looting three. And the bonus with this seed is if you come over here to this little bit of jungle, kind of peeking out, there's actually a ravine. And if you go down, oh, you can already see it here. If you do go down into the ravine, We've got a very barely exposed mine shaft. Oh, and you can get stuck in there. There we go. So that's a little bit of extra fun, but it's not as good as the next seed. So let's move on to the third. Here we are with seed serendipity 23C. Here's the seed again. Each of these seeds is, you know, different in its own way, obviously, but they all have a little bit of something, something to make them interesting, which is always fun. This is a little side bonus here. I like this exposed cliff face in the extreme hills, but we are actually going to be heading to minus 543 and 62. Oh, of further note, there's actually this really interesting exposed cave here. A huge natural cavern, which could be a really cool base, if you don't mind snow. Very nice. But we will continue onwards to the Enchanted Book. Now there's a little bit something extra special about this one. What we're coming to is actually a double spawner. So this one here, this one is a, well, it's a zombie spawner. I don't know why it looks like a pig spawner. And we have looting two, just wait for it, looting two and looting one. And then in this one, it is a skeleton spawner. And I believe there's only one chest in here. And it has blast protection too. But with, I think it takes six levels, um, you could actually put the two looting two enchantment books together to make a looting three enchantment book. And then that way you'd have a looting three, a looting one, as well as a blast protection two, and have this really cool double spawner for uh, mob grinder. So that's always fun. Anyways, on to the last one. And here we go with the fourth and last seed, and this is the seed that Hugh D. Toucan should be definitely checking out um, on Creative Again. Here's the seed which we'll put below. This one I think is the farthest away from spawn, but it is still there, and it's what he's looking for. So we're going to be going to minus 969 and 337, and I will meet you there. One point to note on this seed is there's actually this quaint little oasis, little bit of jungle here, um, on an otherwise desert and plains kind of peninsula. So that could be really cool to make a base on. But onwards we go. So for this enchanted book, um, you'll actually know you're in the right area when you find this submerged pyramid. And if we actually go into the submerged pyramid here, 
You won't be able to use this enchantment book on it, but you can get two diamonds to make uh, an enchanted sword, if you would like. Instant diamond sword can't hurt, but what we're looking for is actually in this little river here, right beside the pyramid. And we want to go in here, and as you can see, it's, you know, your regular ravine, except for there's an exposed spawner. And if I can get a torch here. I think it's a zombie. Yeah, zombie spawner. And we've got our Fortune 3. So, I hope you enjoy qd 2 can Here's your Fortune 3 seed. And if you guys have any other suggestions or requests or challenges you'd like me to fulfill, um, seeds you're looking for, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you next time. <laughs>